Hello and welcome to the back of my pickup truck. I got back from uh, Chilhowee, Tennessee earlier this week. That was a uh, nine day driving trip from Miami, Florida to near Benton, Tennessee, Chilhowee Glider Port uh, in uh, eastern Tennessee, southeastern Tennessee. And um, I want to tell you a little bit about one of the reasons I wanted, I was really looking forward to doing the trip. And I, I had a great time, but one of the things that I did not like about the trip was sleeping in the truck. And um, if you've watched some of my other videos, um, you may know that I hope to trailer my RV-12 airplane behind a vehicle and go cross country uh, all over North America, maybe even as far as Alaska. But um, after this trip, I'm absolutely sure that a pickup truck is not going to be the vehicle that I use to do that. About two years ago, I realized that my 25-year-old Chevy pickup truck was not going to be suitable to be a tow vehicle, and um, I got this 2003, now now 15-year-old Chevy truck. Um, and one of the reasons I chose it was that it had four-wheel drive, and if I'm going to be pulling a heavy trailer, I did not want to get stuck in muddy or soft sand, muddy, mud or soft sand uh, somewhere with a, with a heavy trailer. So I think the airplane and the trailer together will weigh, almost certainly weigh, at least 5,000 pounds and, and could, with, depending on what other stuff I put in the trailer, uh, might weigh as much as 7,000 pounds. And going cross country, up and down hills and things like that, I needed something pretty heavy duty. So I thought this might do the trick, but it is clear to me now that it will not do the trick. So over the last uh, six or seven months, I first I bought this pretty nice Lear camper shell. I got it used um, and it was not actually not very expensive, probably about half the cost of buying it new. And it was in good shape. I um, made, sewed up some screens for the windows. Like right now there's mosquitoes. It's, it's like late October and I'm getting buzzed by mosquitoes. Um, and the other thing I did was build a, uh, a platform for it. Uh, in order to have some storage and uh, a place to sleep. But it's really too small to live out of for anything more than one night in, in kind of an emergency situation. So anyway, I, I had it insulated. Um, I laminated some carbon fiber to act as a uh, ground plane for some antennas to put on the roof. Um, so I, I've, I've done a lot of different things to try and fix it up a little bit, and um, but unfortunately, all of that is, I think, for not. I'm not going to be able to really use it the way I'd hoped, and I'm pretty sure now that I'm going to need to get a van. So anyway, I'll show you what I did uh, in case anybody's interested. Um, this is nothing is fastened here to the uh, inside of the truck. There's a platform that there's a platform that goes on top when I'm not sleeping and I guess I have to come back behind here to do it but so I can put a lot of storage stuff underneath I have it I have it set up so that you put in milk these milk cartons
So all of these could hold various clothing, clothing food, gear, whatever I need. So I thought, oh, that's going to be great. But the truth is, it's just not a big enough space to sleep in. And even with the platform down on the bottom uh, and a fairly comfortable uh, three inch foam mattress, uh, just I can sit up, but I can't stand up and it's just tough trying getting around. There's actually room for up to eight milk crates underneath the main sleeping platform. And uh, I didn't use any nails or screws. It's all just uh, one by twos and one by fours glued to the three eighths inch plywood. Frict it's friction fit. And so goes in and out pretty easy. I'll show you the reverse. The two side pieces fit into grooves in the bed liner floor and then a one by four cross piece wedges into pockets in the, in the walls of the truck bed. That way or... Pretty good. So I also want to show the inside screens and the reflectix on this on the roof, which is not adhered to the top, but it's uh, wired in between the anchors for the roof racks. So it gives me a little bit of an airspace in between. And that was not where I was getting cold. I was getting cold from the uh, leaks in the tailgate. And I know there's uh, seals that you can get. And I actually have one that will seal up the, the gap in the tailgate, but just too many leaks, too many air leaks, too many water leaks, just not, not a good thing. 